Don't you love getting a glimpse into people's uh, closets, medicine cabinets, um, I don't know, homes, take a little tour. So it's uh, spring and I need to do some spring cleaning. I thought I would share where I keep my makeup, how I keep my little makeup desk. I don't do videos in here, usually I use my office, but I'm considering doing them in here if I can get the lighting set up. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can back up a little bit so you can get the whole idea of the desk. Um, maybe that's a really good view right there. Okay, we'll have to zoom in for a second. Well, maybe I'll just show you everything. So there's the, the desk, it's, it's just a glass desk. Um, and then I did put a computer there just in case. I do like to kind of uh, watch podcasts and YouTube videos while doing makeup, so there's that. My little lamp in here, put a cute little picture. I like to hang up all my headphones because they're usually a tangled mask. And these headphones, some I've had for 20 years, some I've had for two years, but I keep them all hung up there. And then I keep some extra makeup over here on the wall. You know, those little shelves you can get at Ross or whatnot, how easy it is to nail up and just keep your makeup palettes that get in the way. And then extra makeup up on the shelves for, I try to label them in the bins. I probably could do a better job, but that's where I keep the excess stuff so it's not all over my table. And then, um, and then I'll keep some um, excess palettes over here on this shelf right over here. Okay, so back to my, the desk. So I try to keep um, just a little story about what I think for spring cleaning, the stuff that's worth paying for, worth keeping. I, I wouldn't say it was bamboozled, <laughs> <laughs> but when I was at Macy's, I went to the Chanel area and the gal was so nice there. I ended up buying all these Chanel products, but I have to tell you, I've had these for over a year. Gosh, maybe even a year and a half, two years maybe, I'm not sure. They are like, I have never touched them. So for example, if I open the bronzer, let's see if I can do this. I have used this so many times. Look at, it barely looks. You can't even see, you know how they do the little artistic indention. You can barely see that I've used it. I have used this so much. So when they say you get what you pay for, it is true because it does create a beautiful bronze. If you guys care, I'll do a before and after makeup and I'll use all these Chanel products. Just so you can see like, is it really worth the hype? Sure, it comes in this beautiful case. It's really nice to look at, but yeah, the products are really amazing. And then this one, if you're light or fair skinned like me, and bronzers tend to be too dark, here's my little secret. I'll get, um, this is one of their foundation facial powders again. How does that look brand new? This thing is almost two years old. It, it just lasts forever. Now I'll use this as a bronzer. And um, I'll get a, a beautiful compact. It comes with an application sponge, a mirror, and then what color is this? This is, uh, can we focus that in there? Oh, let me just read it. Um, this is Ultra Lake Tint and it's uh, Compact Ultra Comfort number 850. Okay, so that was number 850. Okay, whatever. So normally it's used for facial makeup, but it works great as a bronzer. So I kind of figured that out. Now you can do that with other brands. It does, I, oh, this is, this is, and I hate to tell you the best kept secret in makeup, but I've already stocked a few of them, so I'm probably good for the next year or two. Have you ever tried this? This is Physician's Formula Super BB Powder. I am telling you, okay, on my next video, I'll do a before and after and I'll use this just so you guys can see. This will cover anything, brown spots, Fine lines, pores, it gives a really nice, beautiful, all over covered sheen, and it has the tiniest, tiniest bit of illumination with it, which helps with the coverage. Um, I have the light medium coverage, and I wanna say on the package, it said it had an SPF 30 in there, and I think that's because there is some mineral makeup in there, so that's a natural sunscreen. This is, if I had to pick any makeup, I wouldn't do without, it's this one right here. I can't find it in the stores anymore, so I've had to go online, and when I find it, I buy back stock. I just open this one. So, um, that is just my favorite product. 
So now you know about that. So maybe I'll, if you care, I'll do a video about it and I'll put it on there. This is the Chanel bronzer. Um, it's that, um, you know, that paint, it, it, it almost feels like, um, you know, when you get one of those waxy blushes or almost like paste like, paste like blushes. So this one you have to apply with a sponge or a brush. I mean, I guess if you're on a trip, you do it with your clean hands, fingers, but I only use that one if it's, you know, summertime and I just want to add quick color because if you put that over foundation, it just lifts up your foundation or your powder and it messes up your makeup. So I have found with this bronzer, um, it's just kind of, you know, you put your moisturizer on, maybe put like a BB cream on with sunscreen and then use that as your bronzer just for a fresh summer look. So that's why this has lasted so long. In fact, I got this before any of this. Again, it looks like I barely touched it on the inside. Here's their foundation I also bought. Um, I have shown this in a video. It's good coverage, but um, you know, and here's the Mac one again. What I do is I mix brands, right? So you've seen me do that in videos before. So for example, I have this Wet n Wild foundation. Now I have, so you can see there's some other foundations back there. But what I do is I'll take this and put it all over. And then I take the more expensive ones because they do have a more deeper color and better coverage. And then I'll just do, you know, the cheek area or whatever. I've shown that on videos. Sorry, I keep covering the camera. Uh, I've shown that before on videos. This bronzer, this terracotta by Guerlain, again, it's another one I've had forever. Now I got this on a Mother's Day a few years ago. Look at it. It, it comes with this mirror, with separate, which is really cool. It attaches by magnets. So it's a really fun compact. And it's the compact is made out of wood. It's wild. And look at this. It looks like, I mean, you can tell I've used it. But this is three years old or more. I mean, and again, it gives a beautiful um, bronze. And then in the middle is like a peach blush. So it's really like a two-in-one. And the compact, I mean, it's lightweight because it's wood with the mirror. I just love it. So these are some things I am not gonna get rid of with spring cleaning. Oh, and these are my two favorite eyeliners from Chanel. I've talked about these on a video before. Um, this is the Guerlain, it, this one. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Lancome. Um, this is the eye cream, I love it. And you know, I love the Genifique eye serum back here. And then uh, the Genifique all over um, facial serum. I have very, very dry skin. And so I like to lay these down first before my moisturizer or I just feel literally wind chapped all day if I don't do that. Um, any other secrets? Well, this e.l.f. again, I use, this is a foundation powder. So if you don't wanna get the Chanel one, just go to, I was just at Target yesterday. They have a huge e.l.f. counter, right? Or e.l.f. area. So that's this color. Now again, it's supposed to be a facial powder. Um, I use it as a bronzer because I'm so fair. Um, which works great because then it covers at the same time. I love this one too. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, now this one, watch, you can tell I've used the heck out of this one. It's their Illuminator. What do they call this one? Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. Well, you, you gotta love that name, right? Um, oops, I just dropped something. I'm doing this with one hand. I'm <laughs> I guess I didn't think this through. I gotta open this one so you can see it. I'm seeing all my junk I keep under my table too. Um, you can tell I've used the heck out of that one, right? But look how beautiful that is. That's a beautiful color. I love that. I'll use that as in an eyeshadow highlight or um, above the cheek highlight, stuff like that. A kajillion makeup brushes because I did or, you know, belong to Ipsy and they constantly send me makeup brushes. So, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so this is pretty much... Uh, the makeup I'm probably not going to get rid of. Now, yes, I have supplies under here. Like, here's my backups I keep in a little container. Um, so I'm not constantly running to the store. If there's a product I love, I keep a backup of it in the bin. Especially if it's on sale, I'll get a couple extra, keep it there. All my backup foundations under there. Um, and just Kleenex and stuff under the, under the, the, the desk there. Oh my God, I keep covering the camera. I am sorry. And okay, I, this is a pretty short video. So that's uh, just a word about my makeup table. I'll zoom out again for just a second. And um, oh, and I'll show you one other thing. Well, that was too funny. I said <laughs> I'd show you one other thing and then the, <laughs> I had to cut the video. 
So other products, um, I, I got this uh, little farmhouse tray table stand. Um, and it's shabby chic, so you know they sand it down to make it look worn. I keep some of my other favorite products on here. Again, right, I got bamboozled at the Chanel counter. Um, this is their uh, wonderful facial moisturizer. Again, I just use it if, I, I don't use this daily. I use this either if I'm gonna be doing a lot of makeup or going out or doing something where I want my skin to look super smooth. And then this is the eye cream. And then I love this. This came with, I gotta hold this straight. This came with an Ipsy bag. It's the Sunshine Dew Antioxidant Cleansing Gel. It just melts the makeup. I love that. I've talked about these Elizabeth Arden products before, which I love. However, I had a friend tell me she used the retinol one of these. This is the ceramide. And she said her face was peeling. And I said, well, gosh, that's, that's what retinol is supposed to do. You're just really sensitive to it, to, for it to peel. Uh, this is a beautiful crystal uh, perfume decanter that my mother gave me. I have two of these. There's a matching set. Uh, my mother got those as a wedding present. I think she told me from my father. So they're crystal. You can hear it. I mean, they're just beautiful. I don't put perfume in them. I just like to look at them because they're beautiful. Chanel serum. Oh my gosh, this thing's almost empty. You know I love this so much. And then this Dr. Brandt anti-aging creams. I love those too. I got it from an Ipsy bag. That's why Ipsy is so great. You do really get high-end products. I don't work for them, I'm just saying. Um, but sometimes I have to put my membership on pause because you just get too much product. So I just thought that was cute, that little farmhouse tray. Um, and okay, now I'm gonna have to keep the video going. I wanna show you this corner over here. Um, I like to keep my soaps and Q-tips in these little cookie jars because I think it's <laughs> not only is it cute, but it keeps everything very clean and sanitized. Bowl for throwing your jewelry so it doesn't go down the drain of your sink right there. Um, yeah, and then just, you know, here's my, here's my Retin-A that I recommend for people. Again, um, I don't like to put Retin-A all over the face because um, it can thin the skin and cause problems. I like to spot treat it for actinic keratosis. Um, it, uh, you know, those little crusty brown spots you get on your face. It's really great for debriding those um, precancerous pre spots, which is what actinic keratosis can be. And then just some other little products I keep in my little seashell right there, even my toothbrush so it can dry out. Um, little matching seashell thing over there. Obviously, I love ocean themed, <laughs> ocean -themed things. Um, and then in the bathroom, um, don't you like to just keep a really pretty, I don't know, anything that inspires Parisian architecture decor to me, I just tend to gravitate towards. Um, and putting that in your bathroom along with the Parisian inspired mirror, I just think it elevates it a little bit. I don't know, I enjoy it. Okay, and then, show you over here. Uh, obviously I love the beach here in my bathroom. I have uh, all these little <laughs> beach pictures. Um, these are actual seashells. It's fun, you just get a little piece of twine and you can just hang them. And uh, just from the towel rack, I just thought that was really cute. I was gifted this little dress stand by a realtor friend that, um, yeah, she gave that to me, that's right. And I just think it's it's kind of fun. Need to pull the weeds outside. <laughs> um, and then yeah, more beach inspired decor around the bathtub because I don't know, I love going to the beach, being at the beach, why not? Um, and you've probably seen my sh bathroom a little bit before. There, There's more seashells uh, because this is usually where I do the cut my hair videos. I always worry about this bathtub because and then um, you've probably seen my shower before. My husband hung his towel there. I'm gonna have to move that. <laughs> um, I'm always worried. Look at the corner of that bathtub that I'm just gonna like, you know how they say most injuries where people pass away is in the home? That's it for me right there. Look at that sharp corner. Who thought that was a good idea? I did not design this bathroom. This is, <laughs> this is what we, how we had that. Well, okay, so this was just a little addendum to the last video, just giving a peek inside uh, because I am inspired to do some, it's my husband's side of the sink, I'm inspired to do some spring cleaning. So, I mean, it's pretty organized right now, but um, here, let me show you an unorganized area. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna pan around, whoa! 
All right, so where I keep all my backup products. Oh my gosh, I got this from Epsi, this hairbrush, and I thought it'd be really good. But the, it's weird because the shape of it, I don't get that round. Um, it's good though if you just want to straighten your hair. So if you're looking at this, um, those hair dryer, I don't know, curling iron, all in one brushes, it's good for straightening the hairs. My hair grows, that'll come in handy, but, um, and it does give volume at the roots, I do have to say that. Favorite products I love, talked about those hairsprays back there. Um, but this I have got to go through. This is just way too much. I have got to spring clean this stuff. Um, more beach inspired. <laughs> okay, so that was a look inside my bathroom and where I keep, um, you know, my get ready stuff. Hope that was fun. Oh, from when the kids were little, a little Mickey Mouse toothbrush dispenser because they would love to come in my bathroom. All right, see you on the next one.